Now we're ready to stand the bed up against the wall. I want to snug it up against the wall. For this step, you're going to want to set your level on your headboard. You're going to need some shims from the hardware store. A shim is basically a wedge. It's going to be skinnier on one end and wider on the other. You want to check your level to see which way the bed is off. On my bed, this end here needs to be raised up. So what I'm going to do, is I'm going to start with the skinnier end. I'm going to lift the wall up and insert this in. I can do it by myself, but for some people it might be helpful to have someone lift the wall in for them as they insert the shim. You might need to adjust them several times to get the level in the bubble. There you are. For this step you're going to need some L brackets which are located in the bed rail box. This is the hardware you're going to need for attaching the bed. These are your L brackets. You have 5 8 inch screws. You have 3 inch screws. You should have 9 of these, 6 of these, and 3 of these. These are going to be attached above the bed. For this step, I like to start with my hardware on top of the bed. Take my drill with the square drive attachment. I like to start with the stud closest to the center. I line up my L bracket with the stud. Take my 5 8 inch screw and screw it down into the bed. I like to attach two Bennett clips, 5 8 inch screws. I'm going to take the 3 inch screw, line up the top of the bed with the level line that I made earlier. Might be helpful for some people to pre-drill. I like to drive two 3 inch screws into the stud through the L bracket. want to make sure that we have the base secured as well. You're going to want to take your stud finder again and locate the studs down here by the stretcher. Just kind of mark on the stretcher around where the stud is. You want to take your remaining three three inch screws. And now the bed is fully secured to the wall. On most bed faces, there's a good side and a bad side. You're going to want the good side facing down. Especially on the real wood, it's important to, to make sure that the A side is facing down. Or the good side. You're going to want to take two quarters and place them in between the bed faces and squeeze them together. That gives you an eighth inch gap. You're going to want to squeeze them in at the top and at the bottom. To help line them up, if you prefer, you can run a piece of tape right by your quarters keep the bed faces from slipping around. Here I've emptied the contents of the bed rail box and laid them out for easy access. Here I've taken the contents of the hardware bag in the bed rail box and then sorted them out. 
First you're going to want to take one of the smaller of the rails. And this is going to be our bottom down here. You're going to want to take your tape measure, center it in between the two panels. Which it should measure an inch on each side. You want to take your Bennett clip screws or your 5 8 inch screws. You want to keep it flush with the bottom. Make sure that your bed panels are still flush together and tight. You want to pin down the corner. Make sure everything's still tight together, still flush. Check to make sure you still have your inch. You want to pin down your other corner. And you're going to want to continue on and screw in every 5 8 inch screw. Next on the bottom rails, you're going to have these brackets. There's a left and a right one. These are going to go on the ends. I take two of these L brackets for the corners. You want to take two of these smaller black screws per L bracket. Two of the 3 8 inch nylock nuts. You're going to want to take your Phillips screwdriver and your 3 8 inch ratchet. You're going to want these brackets on the back hanging over the bed face. Insert your screws. Put your Bennett clip on, your L bracket on. You want to secure the screw with the screwdriver. You're going to want to tighten with the ratchet. You're going to want to repeat the process on the other side. Next you're going to want to take one of your longer rails. These are going to be your side rails. You want to take two of the smaller black screws and two of the nylock nuts. Place them through the L bracket. And loosely tightening the nuts. We'll tighten them later. Next, I'll repeat the process on the other side. Next, you're going to want to grab your screwdriver. Take a couple of the 5 8 inch screws. You want to line the corner up as best as possible. You're going to want to check the distance from the wall end of the, the bed face to the bed rail. I'll make sure down here that that's the same. You're going to want to pin down the corner with one of the 5 8 inch screws. You want to repeat the process on the other side. Next we're going to get ready to put the last remaining rail on. For this you're going to need two of the smaller black screws, four of the nylock nuts, these two larger screws, 
and the two stops that go with them. And also the two remaining L brackets. The longer screw with the stop is going to go on the bottom screw hole. You'll note that on one end of the stop it is countersunk. That is the side you want facing out. In the top hole you will put one of the smaller black screws. You can tighten this up. repeat this process on the other side. Now that we have those installed, we will put the last remaining rail on. You don't want to install these like you did the other ones. And on these, just snug them up like you did on the bottom. Next, you're going to want to grab your tape measure and your drill. You're going to want to grab four of the 5 8 inch screws. You're going to want to find the an equal distance between both sides. It should be around an inch. And next, you're going to want to tack your corners down with the 5 8 inch screws. And from here you're going to install the rest of the 5 8 inch screws into the remaining holes. On the side rails, I like to start in the center, just to make sure that I have a, the same measurement that I do at the top and the bottom. If not, the rail will flex slightly to give you that same measurement. Now we will continue with screwing the rails all the way around until we are filled all the holes completely. Now that we're done screwing down the bed, the rails to the bed face, we can finish by tightening up the remaining of the nylock nuts that we left loose. Now we're going to want to repeat this process over the next four corners. Make sure that you double check the ones that you already tightened up just to make sure that they're still secure. Now that we have all the corners tightened, it's time to install the metal stretchers. Stretch across the bed face. On twins and doubles, I count the spaces in between the 5 8 inch screws and I go eight up from the ends. On queens, I go nine. This prevents any interference of the stretchers with optional tables and with handles. I use, again, I use my 5 8 inch screws. Pin it down on this end with one screw. And I repeat the process on the other side. And now I will screw in the remaining screws to the rest of the holes. Now that we have all the screws installed, move on to installing the mattress strap. For this we're going to use two of the flathead 5 8 inch screws and the two washers. When doing this, you're going to want to make sure that you have the, the two different sides of the Velcro so that when they wrap around the mattress, they will attach to one another. As you put it, somewhere 